calves and ankles and feet, wrists and shoulders and arms and hands. Take one more slow, deep breath here. Settle on your out breath. And we're going to start with some chair squats. So take a deep breath in, exhale, sit, weight back into your hips and heels, float your hands up about shoulder high, inhale, push through your feet and stand. Exhale, lower belly in, sit way back, beautiful. Inhale, push through your feet and rise. Let's try five more. Exhale, sit, inhale, stand. Be mindful of hips, knees, and ankles as you move. Try to keep knees in alignment with hips and ankles. Breathe in and out. Let's do two more. Beautiful. Just waking our bodies up. One more. Being mindful not to bring your shoulders up to your ears. Keep your shoulders down in their sockets as you lift. Now bring your hands to your hips. Deep breath in. Tuck the lower belly under. Tailbone under. Lower belly in and up. We're going to turn one foot in. And on your exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Breathe in and out. Try to stay stable and straight to the best of your ability. And we're working this kind of outer hip booty area. You should also feel it in the back of your thigh, the hamstrings, but right along this outer edge, just to the side of the IT band. Let's try three more. Two, beautiful. Keep that line lifting up through the top of your head. We're gonna go to the other side. Find center first. Turn the other foot in, big toe towards the arch, and then exhale, lift, inhale, look. Try not to lean to the side or the other side. <laughs> Just try to stay as straight as you can and breathe. Beautiful control. Four more if you're able. Shoulders down, soft throat, face, and jaw. Let's do two more. Last one if you can, and we're going to put them together now. Find your chair. Stand. Lift one leg out and lower, find your chair, stand, and then switch sides. Beautiful. So try and stay centered. Keep breathing. Exhale as you lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, sit. Push through your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Breathe in and out as you move. Out and in. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's try six more to each side if you're able. Breathe your way through. Excellent. Five more. Deep breaths. Yes. Last four if you can. Rest when you need it. Try to keep those knees in line with the hips and ankles. Beautiful. Last three to each side. Feel your thighs working, feel your bottom working, feel that low belly working as you exhale. Excellent. And last one to each side. Beautiful. And now we're gonna take the arms overhead, bring your shoulders into their sockets, start to see if you can spin your palms behind you so your pinky fingers are towards each other. Tuck your tailbone under, draw that lower belly in and up, keep the shoulders down away from your earlobes. Find your still point, your drishti point. Take a deep breath in. If you can, we're gonna lift up the heels. Beautiful, bring your hands down shoulder high now. Keep the arms active and engaged, biceps, triceps working, shoulders down the back. Release your heels, deep breath in. Exhale, rise up again if you can. Hold, take a deep breath in. Arena, turn to one side slowly, it doesn't matter which. Come back to the front slowly and release, beautiful. Deep breath in, take it back up. Lower belly in, tailbone tuck, shoulders down. Do what you can and breathe. And beautiful, come back to the front, release. Back into your chair if you can. Shoulders in their sockets. If it's safe, lift your heels here. Keep breathing in and out. Take one more deep breath in and then exhale, fold. Hips up, head down, heels down. You can take opposite elbows if you like and maybe rock side to side. Take another breath or two. And when you're ready, find your way into plank. Breathe in your plank. Shoulders down your back, away from your ears. I just did a little something to my wrist, so I'm going to switch into fist today and give my wrists a break. 
breathe. 30 more seconds here if you're able. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull that space below your navel, softly into the spine and up towards the chin as long as that doesn't make you nauseous. Feel your body breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you can, go right into leg pull. Right leg lifts and lowers. Left on your exhale. If this is too much, left knee down and modify. Breathe out and in. Do what you're able to. One more, and we're going to switch sides. Keep your breath deep. Let go of the carbon dioxide. Shoulders towards the hips, away from the ears. Last one, and switch it up. Your big toe can tap at the bottom, or it can hover if you want to work a little harder. Try to keep the hips in line with the shoulders. Last four, three, two, and one. Deep breath in. If you're able, Chaturanga Dandasana, knees, chest, chin, or low push-up hover. Breathe. Wow. Take one more deep breath here. You can find your up dog or cobra. And then push back into child's pose and rest. Breathe out. Let your head get heavy. Let your elbows and armpits drop towards the floor. Gently wag your tail left and right. Slow deep breaths. One more slow, deep breath, slowing down your movement. And then gently find your way to one end of the mat. Beautiful. Bring your hands or fists behind you. Thanks. Heels in close. Lift up to your chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, knees to one side, head to the other. Inhale through center, exhale, twist the other way. Let's go side to side one more time. Beautiful. Mm. So we're going to scoot back, lengthen out the legs, gently bounce your knees, and rock left and right. Take your right heel in towards your hips, and then let your right knee fall out to the side. And we're going to start with Jhana Shurshasana just to wake up, warm up, and stretch out. So if it's safe, inhale up and exhale down, or walk yourself out if this feels better. Just breathe. Soften, settle, and sink. Pause to feel your body in the shape. Notice what, if anywhere, the body feels tight. And if you need support, support yourself with a little pillow, block, ottoman, footstool, sturdy, sturdy box, anything you have at home that can work. Take one more slow, deep breath here. Let it all go. Start to find your way back up. And we're going to bring the knee up, keeping the heel as close to the bottom as we safely can with a straight spine. So try your best not to round back and try your best not to lean back. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can, head to tail and tail to head. Reach out from your hip through your left heel. Take a deep breath in on your exhale. Draw that space below your belly button in and up and float the left leg up if you can. Inhale down, exhale up. Breathe in and out. Shoulders gently down your back away from your ears. Slow, deep breaths. You can touch down and rest at the bottom or you can hover if you wanna work harder. If it's really a lot, you can rest and let the toes roll open and then point the toes up and lift. You can also do every other. So maybe roll the toes open, take a breath in and out, lift on two, four, six, and eight, or one, three, five, and seven. We're gonna try one more on this side if we can, maybe three little fast ones, one, two, three, and we're gonna twist it out. So bring your right heel over towards your left hip. Take a deep breath in as you grow a little bit taller, reach up like you could touch your head to the sky, and then twist across your body. Left hand to your right leg, right hand behind your back. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Take one more deep breath here. <sighs> Inhale through center, counter twist the other way. And when you're ready, unwind, switch sides. Left leg in, right leg extended, and we're going to start with that stretch. So if it's safe, inhale up and exhale down, or walk yourself out, or use your supports. You can also bend the knee. That can help. Sometimes sliding an arm or both arms under the knee or calf is helpful. So just play with it. See what feels right. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Take another deep breath or two here, softening a little bit more with each out breath. Hmm. When you're ready, straighten up. We're going to bring the knee back up. So if you need to slide the foot a little farther forward, that's fine. Keep your spine as straight as you can. Deep breath in and exhale, lift the right leg. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So you can be holding onto that left shin or thigh, wherever you feel best is fine. And we're just lifting and lowering the right leg without trying to lean back to get the leg to lift and without trying to round to get the leg to lift. Let's try three more. Think about exhaling from below your belly button as if tightening up that lower belly was a pulley that was connected to the front of your thigh and it was making the thigh lift. Three little quick ones if you can. One, two, three. And we're going to twist it out. Left foot over by the right hip and thigh. Take a deep breath in as you flex the right foot and grow a little taller. And then twist across your body. Right hand to the left leg. Left hand behind your back. And breathe. In. Bend out. <sighs> Take another deep breath or two. And when you're ready, unwind, release, gently bounce or rock or whatever feels good. And then we're going to try some rolling like a ball. So come forward to that front edge of the mat, open your knees wide, reach down towards the ankles and tops of the feet, float your feet up, take a deep breath in with your straight spine, chest lifted through the window. On your exhale, start to round, 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 roll like a ball. Inhale, lift up. So if it hurts your back, don't do it. It should be like a little spinal massage. Make sure that your mat is thick enough. If we have a really thin mat on a really hard like tile floor, that might hurt. So maybe you need two mats or like a little blanket or pad under your mat. So adjust as needed. We're gonna try a few more. Deep breaths in as you lift, lift, lift. Chest up through the window. Exhale, round, round, round and roll. So sometimes we come up, we think our chest is through the window, we think we're straight, but we're really here. We're still rounded like a ball. Really try to pull up, 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 straighten, straighten, straighten. Joseph Pilates was known to say tits to the sky. I like to use that visual here just to remind you to really lift and open the chest. Let's do one more. Beautiful. If you can, we're going to extend out. Find our boat pose, Navasana, or teaser posture. Breathe, lift, lift, lift your feet, lift, lift, lift your chest, reach, reach, reach through your fingers. And you can always modify by holding on, putting a foot down, supporting from behind. Any of those variations that you need to feel safe and comfortable today, do them. Breathe. Maybe one more breath if you can. We're going to try bending the knees in. Flex, point, flex, extend out. Bend your knees in if you can. Flex, point, flex, extend out. We're going to try two more. So hands can be floating or they could be holding on or on the ground. So do what you can. After that last one, see if you can hold for three, two, one, and rest. Take a deep breath in, let your head become heavy. <sighs> Breathe out, let your shoulder blades drop down your back. Take one more slow, deep breath. Beautiful. On your inhale, reach up, maybe even look up. And on your exhales, we're going to find our way down, vertebra by vertebra. Yay, you're back. <laughs> I figured it was connection issues. Bring your hands by your hips. Bring your heels in. Spread all 10 toes. Roll your shoulders down. Take a deep breath in to prepare. And on your exhale, start to tuck your tailbone under. Push into your feet and rise into your bridge, vertebra by vertebra. 
When you get to the top, take a deep breath in and exhale, control back down, vertebra by vertebra. Soft knees, soft ankles, soft hips. When you get to the bottom, take a deep breath in, weight in the tailbone. Exhale, roll up your spine, vertebra by vertebra. When you get to the top, take a deep breath in, spread all 10 fingers, gently reach them out of the shoulders and slowly roll back down. Try to keep those knees hip width. So feet are not too wide, feet are not too narrow, knees are right in line with hips and ankles. We're gonna stay up this time if you can. Take a deep breath in at the bottom and exhale, start to rise, vertebra by vertebra. Trace your spine up and off the mat. And then pause at the top and breathe. You can softly push your hands into the mat, or you can interlace the fingers underneath your hips and gently roll your shoulder blades under and towards the middle so we're on those outside edges of the upper arms. If it's safe, push into the pinky fingers, switch right into your left foot, draw the right knee into your chest. Maybe take the right leg up to the ceiling, take a deep breath in, and if you can, a little circle on the ceiling. Deep breath in, little circle on the ceiling. We're going to try six more if it's safe. If it's not good for your left knee, don't do this. You can hold a bridge as long as it's safe and come down. If you're comfortable with the block under the hips, that's another alternative. Last one here, we're going to reverse. Deep breath in, circle the other way if you can. Inhale, stop. Exhale, circle. So if this is too much, it might be manageable with a block under the pelvis. So that way there's not so much pressure on that left knee. So do what you can do. We've got three more in this direction. If it's safe, two and one. And if you can, switch sides. Right leg down, deep breath in. If you're in the bridge, push your hips to the sky. If you're on the block, stay on the block. Left knee in and up if you can. Deep breath in, and we're going to start to circle. Exhale, circle. Breathe in, breathe out. Tighten up that space below your belly button as you circle if you can. Notice what's happening with that right knee. We want to keep it in alignment. Sometimes it bows open to the side, and then we get some pain on that right inner thigh, just above and below the knee. We've got two more in this direction, and we're switching sides. So if you're getting knee pain, pull the knee back to the center line. Circle the other way. Breathe out. Rest if it's too much. We're going to try five more in this direction, and then we're going to go on. Keep breathing. Keep the hips lifted or on the block, or just skip this exercise. Last two, last one, release the foot if you can, lift the hips one more time, deep breath in, and roll down your spine, vertebra by vertebra, slowly and with control, <sighs> try not to skip the low back. Once your pelvis is safely on the mat, we're going to feel toe feet together, open up the knees wide, turn your palms up, roll your shoulder blades under, just breathe, slow, deep breath. Like you could breathe into the belly and low back. Like you could breathe into the hips and pelvis and inner thighs. Take one more slow, deep breath here. And when you're ready, push your feet into each other as you walk them apart. And then fingertips to heels, deep breath in. And if you can, we're gonna go into roll-ups. And I believe one of you has your microphone on. If you could turn it off, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. No Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, we're going to see if we can peel up and off the mat. Reach, reach, reach. Yes, beautiful. Deep breath in with your straight spine. Beautiful core strength. Exhale, fold over, stretch out, lengthen and reach. And then inhale, roll up, hips to head, straightening up your spine. And on your exhale, find your way down, vertebra by vertebra. Reach out through your heels, reach out through your fingertips. Once you touch down, deep breath in, exhale, roll up. We're going to try seven more. If this is too much, you can bend your knees, maybe catch onto your thighs, sometimes even push through the feet a little bit to get up. Once you're up, you can fold over, stretch, and rest on the bent knees. And then inhale, straighten your spine, hips to head. And as you roll down, reach your fingers out, reach your shoulders down, pull that space below your belly button in, 
Lower your chin towards your chest. Thighs are there if you get stuck in the middle. We will build strength if we work the top edge and the bottom edge. We'll start to reduce that kind of part in the middle where we get stuck and we'll shrink it until it disappears. So do what you can. Breathe in. Breathe out. And let's try five more. Exhale up. Deep breath in as you keep reaching up like that marionette as if somebody had a little string and they were pulling up on the top of your head. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, roll down. Last four if you can. Rest when you need rest. Deep breath in. Exhale, fingers up, chin down, lower belly in. Deep breath in as you straighten. Exhale, stretch out. Chin down, forehead down. Surrender into gravity. And then inhale, lengthen up, hips to head. And exhale, roll down. Beautiful control. Last three if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're gonna do two more, and then we're gonna go into the hundred. So if you need a little break, this might be a good place to take your little break and just catch your breath or get water or whatever you need. Breathe in, breathe out. Slow, deep breaths, whatever you choose. Fully oxygenating each cell of your body, staying soft in your face, not gripping in the teeth, forehead, wrists, belly, hips, shoulders. Last one. Exhale up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and stretch. Let go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, control your way down. Feel the tailbone. Pull that space below the navel in and up. Feel the vertebra just above the tailbone. And then the next one. And then the next one. And as you trace your spine and it gets tougher, reach out and down, resisting gravity. At the bottom, reach, reach, reach. Deep breath in. Pause for a breath or two. Maybe one more. And then when you're ready, start to find that 100 position. So maybe you're just starting out. You've got the knees bent, the head down, and you're pumping the hands. Maybe you're able to hold the head up or extend the legs. Do what you can do. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, forty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, one hundred. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Ah, deep breath in, hug both legs in and squeeze. Rock side to side. Breathe out. <sighs> Beautiful. We're going to take arms out, shoulder high, palms down, all ten fingers spread, knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in, exhale, knees to one side, head to the other. We're going to pause for three deep breaths. <sighs> Breathe into that top lung. <sighs> One more deep breath here. Begin to inhale through center. Exhale, twist the other way. Pause and breathe. Feel your body breathing in this shape. Let's take one more slow deep breath. 
I'm going to start to inhale through center. We're going to go back to that first side, but this time option A is to keep both knees bent. Option B is to push out through the top heel. And if you get here, we're going to tighten up both inner thighs. So we're trying to reduce the space in between your thighs. We're trying to make that space disappear by tightening up the inner thighs, by sucking the inner thighs into the bone. So bottom inner thigh pulls down, top inner thigh pulls up. So we're creating a gap in between the thighs by activating the muscles, activating that lower belly. Bend the top knee if it was straight. Inhale through center. Exhale, go the other way. Relax for a moment. Take a breath. You can stay here enjoying the stretch. Or you can start to push out through that top heel. Engage your calf. Engage the thigh. Bring your attention to the inner thigh. Suck it up into the thigh bone, the femur. Engage that bottom inner thigh. Pull it down into gravity. Pull that lower belly in and up. Breathe. <sighs> and inhale through center. Top knee bends first. Exhale back to that first side. So option A, both knees are bent. Option B, top leg is extended and we're activating these inner thighs and pulling them apart. Option C is to push strongly into that hand, that bottom hand, and see if you can push the bottom leg up and out. So we're only on the bottom hip and everything else is hovering and floating, stretching from hip to heel. Breathe. Bend your knees. Inhale through center. Exhale, second side. Both knees bent. Top leg extended or both legs extended. Breathe. Take one more deep breath here. And help through center. We're going to pause here and take a breath in and out. And we're going to take this one more time to each side. You've had options A, B, and C. Option D is only appropriate if you have a very strong core and particularly very strong oblique so that we don't hurt ourselves. If you don't think you qualify, just skip it for today so that you don't hurt yourself because tomorrow is another day. So you can just go back and have your lovely stretch and breathe and enjoy or play with one of these options we already went through. If it's safe, both feet up, heels together, toes open, palms anchoring into the floor. Inhale first and on your exhale, we're going to drop it over to the first side. Go slow. Use your control, breathe in and out. Just do what you can, keep that top shoulder on the ground. When you're ready, we're gonna push into the bottom arm and see if we can take it up. Deep breath in, second side, do what you can. Please, please, please be kind and compassionate to your body today. Breathe in, breathe out. If your obliques are not ready, they're not flexible, they're not strong, don't push it. When you're ready, back up, bent knees or straight legs. We're going to bring thumbs down under the hips and go into our corkscrew. So heels together, toes open. Take a deep breath in, exhale, circle in one direction. Deep breath in at the top, exhale, reverse. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out and circle. We're trying to keep heels glued together, calves glued together, knees and inner thighs glued together. So we're not getting this sliding motion. As we circle, we're getting a glue, 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 glue. I know they want to slide. Do your best to glue them together. Don't let the heels move. Don't let the calves move. Don't let the knees and their thighs move if you can help it. If this is too much, bent knees. Make smaller bent knee circles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's try two more in each direction if it's still safe for your obliques. If we've worked the obliques enough, please do rest. Last one. And then take a deep breath in, hug your legs into your chest, squeeze out the breath, rock side to side. <sighs> Bring your hands to your knees, make little circles up one hip, across the low back, down the other hip. Breathe in and out, and then reverse. <sighs> one more slow, deep breath. Mm. Now, if you can, thumbs under the hips to help support your lower back. Bring your feet up to the ceiling. Reach up through the balls of your feet. Take a deep breath in to prepare, and on your exhale, pull that space below your belly button in and up, and see if you can push the balls of the feet up to the ceiling. Maybe lift the hips an inch. Control, 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 back down. Deep breath in if it's safe, lower belly in, lift, 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 and control, 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 slowly lowering vertebra by vertebra by vertebra if you can. If you have a low back injury, don't do this, don't aggravate it, or just do every other. So you can see how the low back feels tomorrow without stressing it. 
We're going to try four more if it's safe. Exhale up and control, 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 back down. Use your triceps to slow your descent. Push your hands into the mat. Breathe. Let's try two more. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Up and control, 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 control. Beautiful. Last one if you can. Excellent. Now, if it's a yes, we're going to go up into shoulder stand. Breathe in your shoulder stand. Hmm. If it's safe, open the feet into a wide V. Toes down, heels up, and push out through your heels. Keep breathing. If it's still safe, we're going to play a little bit, rotating left foot down behind your head, right foot up to the ceiling or sky. Breathe. Take one more deep breath here, and we're going to see if we can go back into the V. And then maybe switch right leg down, left leg up. So just do what's safe and comfortable. If this is not safe and comfortable, skip it. Take one more breath here. We're going to go back into the V. And then see if we can bring feet together, knees wide. Keep breathing. Take one more deep breath. If you can, knees together, feet back into shoulder stand. If it's safe, we're going to drop into flat plow, both feet behind the head. Hmm. Maybe bring your hands up and feet on top of the hands. Take another breath or two. And when you're ready, if it's safe with hands overhead, engage that lower belly and control down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. If it's not safe, hold onto your hips or bring your hands down and push into the palms and use them like brakes. So whatever is good for you and your body, find your way down. Control, control, control. And when you get to the bottom, if it's safe, flex your feet, push out through your heels the whole way down. If it's not, heels down by your behind and then slide out until the legs are straight. Take one deep breath, reach, 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 and then relax everything. Take a breath or two. And we're going to flip over onto the belly. Yes, I love it. So come into your sphinx if you can. Toes reaching out behind you, chest reaching forward, head up out of the shoulders, shoulders down away from your ears, and breathe. Slow, deep breaths. Two more deep breaths here. If it's safe, we're going to tuck toes under, take a deep breath in, pull that lower belly button in and up, and see if we can lift up into forearm plank. If that doesn't work, try bringing the hips to one side as you bring the opposite knee in. And when you're on elbows and knees, then you might be able to find the plank with one or both feet. Just breathe. One more slow, deep breath here. And if it's safe, we're going to go into dolphin or forearm down dog. Pike your hips up. Start to walk your toes in towards your elbows. Try not to let your head touch here. The head should be able to move freely up and down, left and right. Kind of looks like we're on the head here sometimes, but we're not. Breathe. <sighs> let your head be heavy, but find so much space from elbows to shoulders that the head cannot touch, even though we release the weight of it into gravity. If it's safe, weight into the left leg, float the right leg up. Breathe. And begin to switch, right leg down, left leg up. Keep breathing. Beautiful. If you can, we're going to walk toes in towards the elbows, so we start to bring the hips more in line with the shoulders until they start to come on top of the shoulders. And from here, maybe start to lift the right leg up and come onto the ball of the foot or the tips of the left big toe. Maybe even play with balance. 
and then switch. Breathe whatever you choose. And when you're ready, back into that forearm plank if you can. Keep breathing. Shoulders down, heels pushing back. Two more breaths. One more breath. Begin to slowly bring the right knee forward, left leg back, find your pigeon. Yes, you got it. Breathe out. Start to drop weight into the front of the left thigh and hip. Breathe. You can let the elbows separate or hands can walk forward as chest and head drop. You can always rest that head or chest on a block or pillow. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. And you can stay here for a few more breaths unless it would be safe to walk around to your left. So we deepen the stretch a little bit in that right hip. Mm. Mm. Give me one more slow, deep breath. <sighs> And then gently, slowly, find your way back around. We're going to switch to pigeon on the other side. Left leg forward, right leg back. Breathe out. And just start to explore and see where the body will let you go here. And some of us like a little block or cushion under the left hip, some under the chest. Some under the head, or maybe the hands or arms under the head. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. And if this is intense where you are, then do not add more intensity by walking off to the right. Just breathe. Hmm. Take another deep breath or two wherever you are. When you're ready, we're going to come back around to the front and see if we can find down dog and pedal. Breathe out. Let go of the carbon dioxide. If it's a yes, inhale into plank, exhale into down plank. Inhale, find plank, exhale, find down dog. Inhale, find plank, and lower into chaturanga dandasana if you can. Hover, breathe, inhale into cobra or up dog. And if you can, maybe back through reverse chaturanga on your way back into down dog. Breathe out. Perhaps left leg up into three leg dog. Deep breath in. Pause. Keep breathing. If it's safe, we're going to come through plank. Left knee into the chest and hover. Breathe. One more breath here and find that high lunge. Left leg through to the front. Push back through the right heel or release the right knee down. Take it up to your thigh or your heart, or overhead, just wherever you feel safe and breathe. Take one more deep breath in, and if you can, we're gonna find warrior three, rocking it forward, finding your still point, lifting it up. Take another breath or two. And when you're ready, back into that lunge, back into the down dog, Left leg back up, bend and twist, maybe even flip your dog if that's a yes. <sighs> Unwind. And when you're ready, we'll try the other side. Right leg up, deep breath in. Exhale, knee into plank and hover. Inhale, toes up, head down. Exhale, plank and hover. 
Beautiful. One more time. Breathe in. Take it up. Come through. Find the lunge. <sighs> Shoulders in their sockets. Breathe. Remembering you can have it down if this is better. Take one more breath, and then we're going to find that warrior three. So maybe use a block or a wall to help you out as you lift up. Take another breath or two. And when you want to come out, you can take it back down into the lunge and then find the down dog. Right leg up if it's a yes, breathe. You can bend and twist and flip, or you can keep it low. Open up your hip, maybe even spin into a little side plank. Ah, and when you're ready, we're going to meet in child's pose, fingers by the toes if that's safe. Breathe out. Let your head drop. Let your shoulders and elbows round down towards the ground. Let go of the carbon dioxide. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Take one more slow, deep breath. And then inhale to prepare, and on your exhale, begin to slowly and gently roll yourself up to seated. Vertebra by vertebra. We're going to sit on the feet for a few breaths if we can. Toes tucked under or untucked. Feel free to lean forward, lift up, put a block or a cushion or a bean bag, a footstool, anything under your bottom. Just breathe. Take one more slow, deep breath here, softening your shoulders down away from your ears. And then if it's safe, we're going to reach back onto the palms or fists. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, see if you can push the hips forward and up, chin down or chin rises. Keep breathing. Take one more slow, deep breath. And when you're ready to come out, chin down first, hips down second. And we're going to come onto the side for a little side series. So keep, stay hydrated, get water whenever you need it. So you can either prop your head in your hand, your ear on your arm, or elbow under the shoulder, wherever you feel best, as long as we're not slouching into that bottom shoulder. We're going to start with side passe. Bottom foot is flexed. Top foot's going to start pointed as we go in and up. And then exhale out and down. Beautiful. Inhale in and up. Exhale out and down. Lead with the toe. And then the heel. Breathe in, lead with the toe. Breathe out, lead with the heel. Let's try four more deep breaths. Try to keep that upper body from the hips up stable. So they don't move at all. Just that leg is moving independently of everything else. Beautiful. Last one. And then we're going to reverse it at the bottom. When you get to the bottom, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, point and slide away. Exhale, lift. Inhale, point and slide out. Exhale, lift. See if you can feel like you're making the top heel just an inch, quarter inch, centimeter longer than that bottom arch. Like we could push the heel out beyond the arch. Let's try four more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down and out. Three more. Beautiful. Last two. Last one. Excellent. Take it forward for two and back for one. Inhale, two to the front. Exhale, one to the back. Try and keep that top leg in one plane and line with your hip. Try not to let it dip down and up. So sometimes we tend to go up at the front and down at the back or vice versa. So just try and keep that plane level. Two to the front, one to the back. Four more if you can. Breathe in and out. Two little in breaths. One long out breath from below the navel. Last two, keeping the upper body stable. Last one. Beautiful. Keep it lined up here. Deep breath in, little circle forward. Inhale, stop. Exhale, little circle forward. Breathe in, breathe out, and circle. Breathe in, breathe out. If you can, we're pushing out through the ball of the foot. If that gives you a foot cramp or you've been reaching through that for too long, then go to a heel. So you can always flex and adjust as needed. We're going to try four more in this direction. 
Check in with your neck, your throat, your face, your jaw, your shoulders, your upper back. Last two. Lower belly's tight. Last one. Deep breath in, reverse your circles. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to keep everything stable. Hips stacked, shoulders stacked, knee over knee, ankle over ankle, shoulders over shoulder. Notice if you're gritting your teeth, tightening your jaw, furrowing your forehead, eyebrows up to the hairline. Try and soften anything that's not needed. Last two. Last one. Bend the knees. We're going to go into clam with a kick. Knee up and kick, foot down and knee down. Knee up and kick, foot down and knee down. Breathe out on the kick, lower belly in, breathe in as you lower. Exhale and kick, feeling that space below your navel, inhale down. Five more. Beautiful. Get some nice length out of the hip. Nice. Last three. Two. And after the last one, we're going to take the whole knee, hip, and ankle in alignment. So bring everything up. So we're just hovering in line with the hip. Take a deep breath in. If you can, little tiny circle forward. So we're not trying to do a bicycle. We're removing the hip, knee, and ankle. We're trying to isolate movement to the knee. And it's as if we had one of those little chalk on a string that's going to draw a little circle, a little pendulum, right? That's going to draw a little circle down from the top knee. So that's what we're going for. We're trying to isolate everything else and pretend we could draw a little one inch kind of golf ball sized circle with that top knee. Let's do three more if we can. This top hip should be burning. We should be feeling it in that sciatic nerve area. Last one, deep breath in. If it's safe, reverse. If it's not safe, if you get sciatica, if this is too much for today, stop, rest, check in, pack the hip, loosen it up. If it's safe, we're gonna try four more. Pulling in that lower belly as you circle. Breathe. You got this. Yes. Last two. Last one. And deep breath in. Exhale. Kick like you're shutting a door. Inhale. Bend the knee. Again, we're lengthening out of the hip. And then inhale. Bend. So we're kicking down to the short end of the mat. Like we're long from head to heel. Excellent. Let's do three more. Try to keep that bottom leg stable. Bottom knee down if you can. And last one, lengthen out of the hip, and then bend your knee and pat. All around. Breathe out. And then we'll switch sides and stretch a little bit at the end. Doing great. Yeah, we're going to start propped up with our side passe. So when you're ready, top leg in and up. Exhale, out and down. Inhale in and up, exhale out and down. And if you're comfortable bringing that top hand up, maybe behind the head, that's another choice. If you feel strong and stable here, breathe. Let's try four more. Last two, try to reach out beyond that bottom arch. After the last one, we're going to pause at the bottom, take our deep breath in, and then exhale, lift. Inhale, bend, and slide out. Exhale, lift. Inhale, bend, and slide out. Exhale, lift. Breathe. Yes, four more if you can. You got it, last two. And after the last one, we're going to take it two to the front, one to the back. And try to keep in alignment with the hip to the best of your ability. So try not to go up in the front and down in the back or vice versa. Try not to counterbalance with the upper body if you can help it. Try to keep everything stable and just move that top leg. Engage that lower belly when you exhale and push back. You got it. Three more. Last two. After that last one, we're going to go to the little circles. Deep breath in, little circle forward. Inhale, stop. Exhale, little circle forward. Stop the momentum in between if you're able and get that isometric exercise. Just resisting gravity and lengthening out of your hip. Pull in below the belly if you can. Breathe. Remember, you can always come down and rest as needed. Three more in this direction, and then we're going to go backwards if it's safe. Last one. 
Deep breath in, little circles backwards. Inhale at the bottom, exhale and circle. Stop the momentum and reach out of the hip if you're able. Slow, deep breaths, feeling that top leg working, feeling that space below the belly button, engaging on your exhales. Let's do three more. Two, last one. And we're gonna bend the knees for clam with a kick. Take a deep breath in, exhale, knee up and kick. Inhale, foot down, knee down. Exhale from below the belly button as you kick. Inhale and come down. Four more if you can. Last two, and then we're going to go into that hip burner, that one that works right around the sciatic nerve. Flex the foot, lift everything up so we're in line with the hip. Take a deep breath in, and we're doing those tiny little one-inch golf ball size circle forward with the top knee if you can. So it often takes a little bit of time for us to train our brains to separate movement at the knee. The hip has no choice but to follow the knee. And the foot is kind of floating in space, but we're not moving the hip, knee, and ankle like the bicycle. We've got it super isolated, and we're trying to just move that knee. I'll do three more this way. I know that top hip is burning. Do what you can. Rest if you need rest. And remember, if you have sciatica, please, please try not to aggravate your sciatica. You'll have to live with that tomorrow. Deep breath in, reverse, and go backwards. You got it. Breathe in, breathe out. Do what you can do. Stay soft in the shoulders, soft in the face, soft in the throat and jaw. Feel your body breathing. Last four if it's a yes. Stop the momentum in between the circles if you're able. Last one. And deep breath in. Shut the door. Push out through your heel. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, push out through the heel. Like you were long head to heel. Like your body's in one straight line like in mountain. Last four if you can. Kick out of the hip. It should feel nice after that work to kind of stretch out the hip and kick and lengthen. Last two. After the last one, we're going to bend the knee and top, pat the top hip a little bit all around the circle. And then kind of right in the center where the hip tends to hurt. And then come onto your back. Left foot down, knee up. Cross your right leg over. Arms out to the side, palms down, shoulder high. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, start to drop the right foot and left knee towards the floor. So we've got that right knee up, and we're getting this nice stretch down the right outer hip and thigh. Think about dropping your right bottom hip butt cheek down to the ground. Breathe. If this is too intense, you can set up a little uh, block or pillow or a footstool or box under that right foot so that when you land, you've got something to land on instead of it hovering. One more breath. <sighs> and then start to inhale up, exhale, go the other way without changing anything else. Just drop the right knee and thigh. So we're on that left big toe and left arch side of the heel. Breathe into that left hip for a moment, trying to drop the left hip and bottom down to the ground. Take one more deep breath here. And then come back up and find eagle legs. Right leg wrapped around the left leg. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, knees to the left, head to the right. Just breathe. One more slow, deep breath. And then when you're ready, come back up and we'll switch sides. Unwrapping that right leg, pausing for just a moment. Knees and inner thighs in as you feel the right hip and the left hip. Take a deep breath. Let it go. And if it's a yes, we're going to cross the left leg over. Take a deep breath in and start to drop that right knee and left foot down towards the ground as you try to keep the left hip and bottom and butt cheek on the floor. If they pop up some, that's okay. You just want the sensation of them softly dropping back down so we're getting this nice outer hip stretch. Breathe like you could breathe into the hip where it feels sore or tight or uncomfortable. <sighs> Let go. 
Take one more slow, deep breath. Shoulders and head dropping down. And then inhale through center. Exhale, switch sides. Left thigh down, right foot up. I'm sorry, left thigh down, left foot up, right knee up. Throw on that right big toe and arch and heel. Breathe with your head off to the right. Take one more deep breath here. In and out, like you could breathe into that left hip. Come back up, wrap the left leg around the right, single wrap or double wrap. Take a deep breath in and go back off to the right one more time. Feel your body breathing into that left hip, waist, shoulder, thigh. Feel the left side expand and soften. Spread your fingers apart. Take one more slow, deep breath. <sighs> Gently unwind, knees back up. Gently unwrap your legs. And we're going to start to find our way into Shavasana. If there's anything else your body needs to do before the end of class, make that time for it. If not, just start to rock your big toes gently in and out like we're massaging the backs of the calves and thighs. Reach your fingers away from the shoulders. Roll your shoulders down your back and then let your arms get super heavy. Turn your head gently to one side and then the other as you start to find that centered place in the back of your skull. And then take a deep breath and let out a sigh. <sighs> Nothing more to do or be for the next few minutes. Just who and what you already are. Making that time and space to be a human being, not a human doing. gently. I'm going to return your attention to the present moment. Let your body breathe in. Go 
feel your body breathe out. Make each breath a little bit deeper than the one that came before it. You return a little bit more fully to the present moment with each breath. Slowly begin to wiggle and move just the tips of your fingers and toes. And then let that movement travel via the hands and feet into the arms and legs. And as you're ready, you start to move your head. And then reach your right arm up, take a deep breath in, roll onto your right side. Pause there and just feel your body breathing. And eyes closed if you can, gently, slowly guide your way up to seated and come home to your heart. Feel your body breathe in, feel your body breathe out. Another breath or two, just pausing in stillness. Just take one more moment for gratitude and grace. Thanking your body for all the things that it can do. Thanking your body for all the things that it agreed to do. Thanking your lungs for giving your breath. Thanking your heart for beating. Thanking your eyes for seeing. Thanking your hands for grasping food and bringing it to your mouth. We have so much to be thankful for. And thank you for making this time for yourself and for joining me today and spending it with me. Namaste. Have a wonderful Sunday. And thank you for showing up for yourself and for me. Thanks so much, Shannon. It was really great. I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You have a wonderful practice. It's always lovely to see you. Same here. Thank you so much. Thanks. Have a great day. You too, Shannon. Thanks. Enjoy. Have a good one, Victoria. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to see you again. <laughs>